I ordered the HD powder, which was one of the things I was most excited to order. And this is $6, so one of the more expensive things on the website. And it comes in this big old container. It's a really nice looking box. And then you unscrew it. And there's like a little plastic thing on the inside. Um, comes with the powder puff for you to apply it. And there's the inside with the powder. It's just a really nice, super fine, translucent powder to help mattify your skin. So I actually just used the little powder puff. I just sort of dumped it upside down. And um, you can see that gets a good deal of the product on the applicator. You don't really need that much, so you might want to shake off a little bit into the container. And then you can use it to just press on top of your makeup and set it in place and prevent any sort of shine. So it's a really nice, I think, finishing powder. And I'm not a big fan of finishing powders, but I really like this. It gives you that um, airbrush look. You don't feel like it's heavy. Um, so I'm excited to keep using this. Like I said, I was so excited. I was waiting and waiting, waiting, waiting to get this in the mail. This is one of the things I was most looking forward to. One of the other things I was most looking forward to was the cream blush. And I ordered this one in Heartbreaker. You can't really read it. Oh, there it is. Heartbreaker. And like I said, I was expecting this Heartbreaker to match the, um, you know, this... This shade is the Heartbreaker they have online, and then this is the Heartbreaker for the lip stain. And it's nowhere even near the same color. And here is the Cream Blush. It comes in this big old chunky container, and it looks like there's a whole bunch in there. There's really not. So you just pop it open, and it comes with this little um, lid on it, so you just pop that off. And I'm actually going to keep it because I want to make sure that this doesn't dry out. So you can see it's only like halfway full in the container, and this is brand new. Um, it's a really beautiful, vibrant shade. And once again, here is Heartbreaker for the blush, and Heartbreaker for the lip stain. This sort of looks brownish next to this. This is a really beautiful color, and I was expecting this to be the same color, but it's nowhere even near the same color. So this has kind of that um, spongy, foamy texture. But um, just even touching it a little bit, um, it's a really fun shade. And it dries um, almost like a powder. It's, it's a strange consistency. It's the blush that I'm wearing right now, and I've been using my stippling brush for it. So what I've been doing is taking my stippling brush and just blotting it in my cream blush. And then I just swirl it on. And I think it's a really pretty pinky color. So. Um, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I think it's a fun shade. I think it goes really well with my Raspberry Luscious Liquid Lipstick. Raspberry Luscious Liquid Lipstick. There we go. Um, I think this is a beautiful shade. And they also have the color Flirt, I believe. And they're out of that color online, so I'm waiting till that comes in, and then I'm going to order the other one. And this one is $6 online, so these are a little more expensive too. But they're in the studio line, and I get emails all the time that are like 50% off studio lines. So potentially you could get this for $3 if you wait for a really good sale. I ordered the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Sand which may have been the lightest color that they offer online. And here you go. It comes in this really nice looking bottle. It's $6 a bottle. Um, and it has a little pumper on here. So here you go. And it's just sort of, you know, the ordinary liquid foundation texture. We'll use my blender sponge. Here we go. It's pretty close to the same color as me. Um, I think it has more of a yellow undertone than I usually 
go for, but um, it has a nice finish to it. It has medium um, to thicker coverage. I don't really feel like this is a very light foundation, so I would say a good medium coverage with this one. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to keep using this one to find out how much I like it or not. I am a big fan right now of the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, so it's going to take a lot for me to fall in love with another one. So I'm going to give this one a real try. I ordered three of the e.l.f. Eye Beauty books just because they look like so much fun. Um, so the first one I got was the Everyday Look book, and you open it up. And there are directions on this side, and you can open it up a little more, and you can put your own looks in here. You can write out what colors you use, and they're labeled the colors 1 through 12, and it comes with um, an eyeliner pencil and an applicator right here. So you open it up, and it comes with a little mirror, and there are the colors. I'm not going to swatch all of these because that would be way too many swatches. So this one has a lot of really warm um, plums and blues and um, some neutrals and a couple really dark shades to give you that smoky look if you're looking for that. Next up is the Natural Palette. And this is the same thing. You open it up and it has the instructions right here and it tells you, you know, what was used. You can put your own kind of look on the inside. Comes with 12 eyeshadows, the mirror, the applicator, the eyeliner. Um, this one's a brown eyeliner, and um, I think this one was a plum eyeliner. I could be wrong, let me check. Um, so there are the 12 shades. The everyday one actually has a black eyeliner. Natural has the brown eyeliner. And Smoky Eye is the last one. And this one had some fun shades in it. So here's your guide again for the Smoky Eye. And this has the day and night, which all of them have, the day and night look. And it tells you where to apply them and what to apply. You can create your own looks on the inside. And then here are the colors over here, labeled 1 through 12. And this one comes with a black eyeliner and a couple really fun shades in this one. The purple shade and the blue shade, a couple shimmeries and the really darker shades so you can smoke that puppy out. You can get that really smoky eye with this one. So this should be fun to give a try. I ordered a couple of the e.l.f. palettes that I saw online just because they looked like fun and it had a little bit of every color. Um, and these are fun to do for a look here and there. Um, and this is the Complete the Look palette. Comes with a whole bunch of goodies. And like I said, this one just looks like fun. This wouldn't be really a mainstay on my everyday stuff, but if I really was looking for a vibrant blue or yellow or green, then this is what I would go for. So it comes with a whole bunch of eyeshadows. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it comes with 60 eyeshadows, and then it comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, it comes with 20 lip glosses, so these two rows are lip glosses, and this up here is eyeshadows. And then it comes with two bronzers over here. This one is matte, and this one is shimmery. And then it comes with three blushes. So this one is more of a pinky color, this one's more corally, and this one's more of a baby soft pink. And some of these eyeshadows are shimmery, and some of them are matte. They're kind of mixed up together. And there are the lip glosses. And then there are the bronzers and blushes. So these just look like some fun colors to have around. Um, let me pick a couple shades here to swipe. So let's go for the fun colors. I'm going to go for this color right here. So that's where I took it from, and that's the color. Wow, that comes off really well. So let's go for this green shade here. 
So that's the shade that I took right there. It's not as vibrant as the blue. And then let's go for that purple right there. That purple is calling my name. So there is the purple from right there. So purple, green, and blue all from right about there. So these just look like some fun colors to have around and you know honestly it looks like some of the colors from each of these little eye brightening palettes are in here. So let me show you some of these that I think match up really well. Okay so here's one of the eye brightening palettes um, and these come with a set of four. Uh, so here's a greenish that looks you know pretty similar to that one right there. And the blue, blue is pretty similar to that one up there. And this oatmeal-y white color seems to be this one right here. This middle shade right here seems to be this, wait, where is it? This one right here. So these two are pretty much the same color. So it's like they took all the colors from all of these little guys and put them in here. So here is the Lux palette, and here's the shade that most closely resembles that on this big Get the Look palette. So if you're interested in buying a whole bunch of these little eye brightener quads, you might want to just buy the big old Complete the Look palette because it seems to have all the colors from all of the little eye brightener quads. So I also bought the 100 eyeshadow palette. And this was, I want to say, ten dollars. And this, um, this just has a whole bunch of colorful eyeshadow. Like I said, I'd like to have some colors around for when I want to spice things up, add a little splash here and there. And this has a lot of fun colors too. So here's this one. And some of these are shimmery, and some of these are not. And I really like this bronzy shade down here. And there's some highlighter shades, some darker shades, so you can make that smoky eye. Some fun, fun, fun bright shades. And like I said, here's the bronzy shade that I really like. A couple little swatches. So here's some blue, some red shades. Look at that one. <laughs> that looks like fun. One of the last things I got, which I can't seem to find, I don't know where it went, it ran away already, is the Conditioning Lip Balm. It's in a twist up tube and it's in the color Guava. And I'll insert a picture of that here. It's a really beautiful color. It's got that nice conditioning lip balm thing going. Um, it's a fun shade. It's kind of a little tangerine and it's beautiful. I'm excited to use that one some more. All right, so that's it for my haul. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.